Here we are, Lash Russell, Gary Antoine Russell. Fight coming up, man. Nothing that you're not used to. You've been fighting for a long time. Definitely. What's, what's special about this car? It's a Neville car. Well, my brother's on it with me. It's a Neville Russell show. Anything That's special you got planned for this car? Uh, to come out victorious, all three of us. You know, and once they put the mic in our face, hopefully we can say some words of wisdom to the world and yeah. get people back on track mentally and get them a, a different type of drive. Hopefully put a spark up on them, you know, to make their lives better for themselves. Yeah. I, I know with, with, your, with your boxing, you try you always try to, to add that aspect into your boxing, you know, to try to even, not just for yourself to be great, but you also try to get the younger fighter that's coming up to you to uh, learn from what you've been telling them. So what's some advice you can, you can tell them? Follow a good role model. Follow those steps. Youngins that's coming up, they know right from wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not infants to the point they don't know right from wrong at this point. When you get to a certain age, I know for a fact you know right and wrong. You know, so I'm saying to those, the youth that's coming up, mm -hmm. follow the right footsteps. And, perfect image. Yeah. And now you, you're undefeated. You know, we, we always talk, how, talk about how your, your Olympic, your Olympic uh, background and everything like that. But with this, with this experience right here, have you channeled that out of your, 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 uh, out of your mindset far as the way happened nah. in the Olympics? Nah, no, not at all. Okay. You know, I, I gotta keep that locked in because that's a, that's, that's a mishap that happened because I didn't fully execute something. You know, and in life, it ain't no redo buttons and, and etc. In that tournament, it wasn't no redo button. Mm -hmm. So I gotta hold on to that, make sure that I keep that in mind. So I had somewhat of a, a foundation to ground myself. When you say you didn't execute, what what you mean by? Because I to me, them out. Uh, okay. ultimate win is a knockout. <laughs> okay. I should have knocked them out. I practiced that. I studied that. And I didn't do it. Come fight nothing. So. And, it wasn't and, enough. In your last fight, you know, you, you pretty much dominated your last fight. Right. But what kind of mindset you going in, you know, after each fight that you come with a knockout, what's your mindset going into the next fight? With a harder opponent? Man, I'm my hardest opponent. Okay. Now, of course, my opponents are going to bring different attributes because they got different style, different coach, different upbringing, different training, you know. But that's... that's something to be expected. You yeah. gotta add that in. And when, when it comes to getting your next opponent, do you guys choose somebody that's a little more harder or more advanced or, or a better record or more talent, you know, skill set? Do you guys study Honestly, that before you, you take the fight? the rankings. Uh-huh. You walk the rankings down. At the end of the day, any profession is about that dollar. <laughs> it's about what you gonna use that dollar on. How you gonna utilize it though? We got a, a reason why we do what we do. But it's definitely full of dollars as well. Do you, you got a do you got a, a time expectancy business. for your career? I do. I think everybody should. Okay. Which what is yours? I say every bit of thirty. I should be able to sit comfortable, do what I want to do. Thirty. Yeah. Whether so you, or not what? I continue boxing or just get into something else that I like. So that's about Box another ten. Hobby. That's about another ten years. Another ten years. Another ten years. Yeah. So actually, well, let's yeah. put a short term. You got ten years ago, so. What do you see yourself in another year, year and a half in the sport? Uh, my coach got the blueprint on that, mm -hmm. slash father. Okay. You know, so you had to holler him on that. I oh, got okay. his trust. He got mine. I'm but, walking blindly, to be honest. So asking, instead of asking him, what would you like to be in a year and a half? Come on, what type of question is that? What would I yeah, like to be? Exactly. If I, I could be set by the night <laughs> and not have to do nothing by tomorrow, that's where I would want to be. Okay. Anybody should want that. Mm -hmm. You know, but realistically, I know that's not the case. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to give you a realistic answer. Okay. Uh, next year, I say 20, 20 and 0, 21 and 0, something, something like that. Okay. You know, looking for a, a contender. Okay. So, so what do you see when you see all the younger fighters with maybe 15 fights, they're getting these title fights and things like that? A do you ever, do, the future opponents. That's what I oh, see. Okay. Okay. Future opponents, they're in the same profession that I'm in. With that, and this with profession comes with strategic movement. Mm -hmm. You know, we're dealing with the promoter, the, the management. Do you know anything about your opponent coming up? Or do you have an opponent coming up? I have an opponent. I know he's bringing his physical best. Uh-huh. I know he want to win. You know, but like I said, that's something to include. 
got to include that. Yeah. Because it's sport I'm in. But other than that, I, I ain't care less what he bring it. So t tell me, what is it like for a, a family of fighters, your brother and then your dad? What is it like to sit down when y'all are trying to st strategize y'all plan? What kind of conversation is that? Without giving the without giving the plan, what kind it's of? Not intense. I mean, it's so second nature to us. It's like conversating naturally. You know, we eat, sleep, live it. So it's, it's a natural thing to us. It's not no hiccups. It's not no silent moments. There's no awkward silence or nothing like that. No. Just we communicate. This is a priority. It's something we got to do. It's something we got to be serious about. This ain't like we planning on going out. On a vacation, no. This is business so we can live comfortably. So our nieces mm -hmm. can live comfortably, nephews can live comfortably. So we can help out our extended loved ones and et cetera. We want to live comfortably. Yeah. You know, we living in a system, people, yeah, bad. wake up, man. <laughs> yeah, being a fighter that you are, when it comes to opponents, and you, if you, how, how often do you watch the fights on television? Uh, recently, I've been watching uh, quite a few because they've been people that's been coming up in my, my era. Clarissa Shields, Coach Davidson, mm -hmm. Carlos Bandada, you know, we got, um, um, what's the kid? He yeah. just fought, I think he like 165. Charles Conwell. Mm -hmm. You know, I know he felt bad after that whole Patrick Day thing. Yeah. You know, I, I take my head off to, to them both. Because this is a sport. Yeah, a lot of outside people looking in wouldn't even understand what we got to walk in mm -hmm. as fighters, participants. They wouldn't understand. So I, I can say a lot of things, but it's all about what's, what's real at the end of the day. Real, no real, and facts is facts. Have you seen on television, have you seen some of the opponents that you would like to, to uh, get, actually get at yourself? Oh, I've seen several. <laughs> I've seen several. Excuse me, my love. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I got my eyes on a couple, but okay. like I said, it's, it's a walk that's strategically mm -hmm. laid out. And we we'll definitely get to all of the people that I got my eyes on. Okay. It's just a time frame thing, uh, management thing. I just got to take it one step at a time. So, so of course, Gary's going to be the main event. But are you guys going to be televised? You and Antonio? Uh, definitely. Okay. Uh, so we're going to put on the show. Show up, show out. We'll do what we got to do. All right. Appreciate your time, man. Tell everybody follow me. All right, I Instagram. definitely you put, put yourself out there. Okay, Gary A. Russell, all together. It's me. No PR person is regulating my stuff. Y'all want to go live with me? Go live with me. I don't normally go live, so I'm just kicking it off for 2020. All right. Now. <laughs> okay. Hey. All right, appreciate it. Uh huh.